This is Good Taste Brecky with Chloe and Elle this morning. Last night, Master Chef Australia back to win was a tearjerker, Elle. It was. It was very emotional. It was so sad. We're getting down to the finals now and uh, someone else had to go, which was heartbreaking last night. And that someone just happened to be Callum Han. Thank you for joining us this morning. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm going really well. Thanks so much for having me. So welcome. You haven't been crying into your coffee this morning, I hope. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, I, had, I have for uh, you. <laughs> uh, I'm so, I'm so sorry to to do that to you. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was tough, tougher reliving last night. But um, yeah, you know, really excited to to uh, to be back and and able to to run my business again. So it's a good good and a bad thing. Yeah, well, you sound very chirpy and sprightly. Um, sometimes when we chat to the eliminees, they're they're quite sad, but you don't sound sad this morning, which is great. Yeah, I guess you know, I I feel very lucky. I actually have a, a life that I really love. So I, I guess it was a decision about going back onto the show in the first place. Um, I've got you know my beautiful wife and little baby girl that I that are that are awesome, and Aww. I've got wonderful friends, and I've got a wonderful business that, that was doing really well until we had to shut like so many other businesses. Right. <laughs> um, but, um, so I guess it was, I was just really excited to, um, once the competition was over, to be able to come back um, and, and keep doing what I love. Yeah, what does it mean for families of people that go on a show like MasterChef? Because my husband was on Survivor and I could have no contact with him for several months. Um, is, is it similar? Like how did, how, how did your that's family tough. cope? Yeah, that's so tough. And, and um, the first time I did MasterChef almost 10 years ago, that's what it was like. It was pretty much no contact, whereas... This time around, they were aware that a lot of us had were running restaurants or running cooking schools or whatever, um, and sort of had to still do some businessy stuff. So we had a bit more um, chance to to either visit or, or chat with people. But once the the borders between South Australia and Victoria ended up closing, um, my wife ended up coming over um, just before that to come actually live in Melbourne with me for a bit. Oh wow! Um, because otherwise, I, yeah, because we had when I first started filming the show, um, my daughter. Who's also named L. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great <Three>. name. <laughs> she was, uh, yeah, it's a quality name. Um, she was three months old, and she's now now almost nine months old. So um, I couldn't um, miss out on that really valuable time with her. So her actually being in Melbourne really helped. So it was not not quite quite like what survival would be, I imagine. Right. Yeah. No. Well, at least you had food. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess. We, we were the opposite. You probably go on Survivor and you probably lose a heck of yeah. a lot of weight. Yeah. It, like, I reckon <laughs> after uh, you know eating some of the leftovers and all the delicious food oh. that everyone's cooking in the hotel rooms, it is uh, probably quite the opposite problem. I would so be going leftovers. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, um, one, of the, one of the best parts. Yeah, it would be. Callum, last night your the judges said that your fish was a little bit overcooked, but... I think I actually know what the real problem was and uh, perhaps why you did get knocked out um, okay. because you put coriander in it. <laughs> I think that was the real reason. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to They didn't want to say that on camera, but they were like, coriander, are you, what are you, some psycho? <laughs> <laughs> That's meant to go straight in the bin, Callum. What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you're not a coriander fan. <laughs> what? How did you pick up on that? <laughs> <laughs> Callum, what was your highlight of being on the show this time round? Um, I think the um, definitely, I know it's kind of a, a lame answer, but just spending time with all these other contestants that I had watched over the last 10 years um, do really well in their respective seasons, and then to spend time getting to not only compete with them, actually getting to know them as well, um, was pretty incredible. But all the way back in week one as well, I got to do this challenge where it was only me and Two others, we've got to cook along with Gordon Ramsay. Yes. And that's something I've always kind of dreamed of doing, and, and he's someone that I've, uh, yeah, watched, watched for many years on TV, and me how to sort of meet him in person and do that was really quite surreal. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. That was great. Uh, we've been asking all of our eliminees, though, Callum, what's a great, easy, slap-together meal that us mere plebs can put together and make look fantastic? But still yeah, easy. Think, um, but it's easy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um I think for me, if I'm ever going to have you know mates over and want to impress them, I think what they don't want to have is you spending too much time in the kitchen. They want to hang out with you, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, my kind of go-to one is um, slowly roasting a lamb shoulder. So you can you know get, grab one from the supermarket, maybe do a little bit of rosemary, a little spice rub or something, and just put it in like a low oven, 140 degrees for you, four to six hours. You can't really cool. overcook it. You can just leave it in there forever. So it's one of those things where you don't have to stress. So you just put it in early in the afternoon. Mm. And whatever time people feel like eating dinner, it's always yeah. perfect. I love a good slow cook, definitely, or a roast, definitely. 
I'll forget it's in there yeah. after four or five hours. <laughs> I'd yeah, be like, too much fun. Comes yeah. like, what's that smell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. I was making y'all stuff. <laughs> Callum, thank you so much for joining us on the show this morning and we're sorry to see you go. But congratulations oh, on, on all you did. You yeah, were great. You were fantastic. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. No, my, my pleasure, guys. Thanks so much for having me.